How's it going everyone? Welcome back to yet another video. If you haven't seen my previous video, then I recommend that you do that now. But in short, I've got some targets for 2023 uh, that I'm ticking off as we go. And this video is about the second target, which uh, I have ticked off and I'm gonna talk about today. So, in the grand scheme of things, this target is not the biggest priority, but it's something that I felt needed to happen because, you know, I'm now a full-time uh, videographer and editor, and my work has, for the past two years, has all been achieved uh, on this camera right here. So uh, this is the Sony A7 III and I've only used a single lens, uh, Sigma 24-70. And this has been fantastic. This has been brilliant. Uh, previously I was on a Canon 60D and that was mainly for taking pictures and I didn't know that I wanted to fully commit, so I wanted like, like a hybrid camera that could do a bit of both. And uh, this camera did exactly that. And I love it. It's brilliant. I still use it today. But the more and more I do film, the more and more that I'm starting to see the image that I'm producing break down. And that's only because of the opportunities that I've had over the past two years where I've been able to try out fully dedicated film cameras and see how it stacks up uh, against this. But now that this is now my full-time profession, I felt it was time for an upgrade and also like a little bit of like a, a treat for uh, getting the job and I want to introduce you to basically the next chapter of my videography journey. So here we are. This this is the rig that uh, I'm going to be using for the foreseeable future. So if you didn't already guess, yes, it is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Uh, this is the 6K version. The only reason I went for the 6K is because uh, this was actually purchased off of a friend. Uh, this is from Sam East. Um, if you haven't seen his stuff already, then uh, I highly recommend you go over to his channel. He's had this for a good few years and it's just been kind of sitting on his shelf. And um, I thought, well, I'm in need of a cinema camera and he's been looking to get a new camera as well. And I thought we would uh, help each other out. He gave me a really good deal on this camera. Yeah, he's handed me stuff. There's stuff on here that I already owned from kissing out my, uh, previous camera and I just thought I'd go over it today. So 6K camera, the lens is the Canon 17 to 35. This is good, um, it's not so sharp when zoomed all the way into 35, but um, at 17 it's really good. Yeah, just for the meantime, uh, it's a uh, it's a good enough lens. The matte box I have on the front is the Polar Pro Recon in collaboration with Peter McKinnon. I was very fortunate to be sent this from Polar Pro themselves. I previously owned their Basecamp matte box and that was good, but um, 
This one's just a bit more compact, as you can see. It includes a variable ND, which uh, just works like your normal one. Uh, it's a three to six stop. What's really good about this is that it can just come off. So you just have that, like that. And um, they also include clip-in filters. So you don't have to go through the hassle of um, screwing it on. It just clips in on the front and um, yeah. Really, really compact matte box that works really well on this camera. Shooting on a standard Samsung T5 SSD. This is a two terabyte one. Got a small rig um, hand strap because uh, I didn't really feel the need to add a grip on this side because this grip here is already chunky enough as it is. So this just sits on my hand. Um, got all the access to the scroll wheel and the record button and all the options up top. So just really handy tool to have. And then on the other side, I do have a proper grip. Um, this is from Ulanzi. It's just a very simple slide on one. It's not a NATO rail. It's their own proprietary system um, called F22. And um, with the included plate, all it does is just slides on, simple as that. And the top handle from Ulanzi, um, and then clip off of the top really easily. And this makes it really easy to pack away and then just clips on very easily as well. And then all of this is attached to a small rig cage. A lot of the stuff is from small rig. It's just the standard, I think, these days. And it's a good way to get into uh, kitting out a rig. And then at the back, we have a small rig V-mount plate uh, with a 15 millimeter rod clamp just to attach it all into place. And then this is just a very bog standard V-mount battery. This is 95 watts um, from Kia? Kua? Kaya? No idea. But this just gets me through. Um, I was on a shoot the whole day and didn't have to charge it once. And then last few things, we have a five inch Hagic arm from Small Rig, obviously. Um, and this on top of it here usually sits my Atomus Shinobi, uh, but I'm using it to film right now. The reason why I opt to have this is that uh, when I've had it on the handle, it just feels too high up. And I just kind of want this to be a bit more compact. So having the uh, Shinobi sit on here and kind of tucked away in between the front of the camera and the back just kind of fits really well into place and um, for the most part um, that is the pocket cinema camera 6k rig and um, it still blows my mind that this is in my hand and that I'm at a point in my career where um, I am in need of a uh, better quality film and I know that uh, this camera is going to do me for so many years. That's a little bit of an insight into my new camera and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure I'll do a few more uh, videos on this camera in the future when I upgrade a few things because um, this, this is only a starting point and uh, it will progress and evolve in the years to come. If you like this video and you want to see more of this sort of content, then uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe or ring that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new YouTube video just like this one and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers guys!